CM Punk is proud of the role that he and John Cena have played in each other's careers. Speaking at the Post Money in the Bank press conference on Saturday night, CM Punk reacted to the news that 2025 will be the final year of Cena's in-ring career. CM Punk said he wants to face Cena at least one more time on Cena's retirement tour. Punk stated that he's proud that John Cena is going out on his terms and that that's important. Looking forward to what John Cena does. Saying, if it's going to be one more time, we gotta do it at least one more time. Cena was the opponent for one of the most memorable moments of Punk's career when CM Punk won the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank 2011. The two also had a standout match on Raw in February 20th. CM Punk said he always viewed the dynamic between him and CM Punk as like CM Punk being Batman and John Cena being Superman. Punk, who has been out of action since January due to a torn triceps, also showed up at Money in the Bank, causing Drew McIntyre to fail in his Money in the Bank cash-in attempt. It's looking likely that CM Punk will be cleared to return in time to face Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam next month. At Money in the Bank, John Cena made a surprise appearance and spoke to the crowd about his retirement plans. The retirement tour will last from January through December 2025. Cena said at the post-show press conference that the amount of WWE dates he plans to work during the tour is tentatively hovering in the mid-30s to 40s. Those dates will include Royal Rumble 2025, Elimination Chamber 2025, and WrestleMania 41. Cena then stated he plans to stay involved with WWE after he retires from in-ring competition. Saying, part of this business plan that I proposed and they accepted was me remaining in the WWE family in some capacity for an extended time to come. I've always said to the audience that WWE is my home and I love it. Just because I physically feel I'm at my end doesn't mean I need to distance myself from something I love. Adam Pearce has suspended Drew McIntyre. WWE shot an angle following Money in the Bank PLE that saw Drew interrupt the post-show panel discussion. He was furious at CM Punk for having interfered during his Money in the Bank cash-in attempt. McIntyre struck several WWE officials who came out to stop him, including Raw General Manager Adam Pearce. Pearce posted a video on Sunday announcing that he has fined both Drew and CM Punk an undisclosed amount of money due to their actions and Drew has been suspended indefinitely. Solo Sokoa is all but confirmed as the next challenger for undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes. In the main event of Money in the Bank, Solo Sokoa pinned Cody to win a chaotic six-man tag team match. The victory looks to set up Sokoa challenging Rhodes for his title at SummerSlam. Dave Meltzer first reported last month that Rhodes would be facing Solo at the August 3rd event. Solo Sokoa teamed with Jacob Fatu and Tama Tonga to defeat Cody, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. The match was Fatu's WWE in-ring debut. He starred in the match, including saving Sokoa at the end, when Cody looked to have Sokoa beat with a series of crossroads. That allowed Sokoa to get the victory after laying out Cody with a Samoan spike. Additionally, Tiffany Stratton is the new Miss Money in the Bank. The 25-year-old Tiffany Stratton got to experience one of the biggest moments of her young career on Saturday when she won the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. As the briefcase holder, Tiffany can cash in for a shot at either the WWE Women's Championship or Women's World Championship at any point in the next year. Chelsea Green, Io Sky, Naomi, Lyra Valkyra, and Zoe Stark were the other competitors in the ladder match. In her home country of Canada, Chelsea Green was the crowd favorite. She was about to capture the briefcase at the end of the match until Tiffany pushed Chelsea's ladder over and she fell through two tables that were set up on the outside. Tiffany then grabbed the Money in the Bank briefcase to win the match. If Tiffany successfully cashes in, it will be her first title reign on the main roster. She held the NXT Women's Championship once prior to being called up. Tiffany is a member of the SmackDown Women's Division, which WWE Women's title holder Bayley is the current champion of. Additionally, WWE is touting all of the metrics that made Money in the Bank 2024 a lucrative night for the company. In a press release issued on Monday, WWE stated that Money in the Bank, which was held at Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, set a new record for the highest arena gate that the company has ever drawn in Canada. That doesn't include stadium shows like WrestleMania. 
This is now the most watched Money in the Bank event of all time, surpassing last year's viewership record by 46%. Merchandise sales were also up from 2023's record. WWE says a top selling item was a Canadian themed Money in the Bank briefcase. WWE states that more than 45,000 fans attended the four events the promotion held in Toronto during Money in the Bank week. In addition to Money in the Bank, WWE SmackDown, NXT Heat Wave, and a comedy show hosted by Sami Zayn took place in the city. The press release also touted that WWE's WrestleMania XL Behind the Curtain documentary has more than 2.3 million views on YouTube since premiering last week. And John Cena's retirement tour announcement is WWE's most viewed segment on social media since WrestleMania 40. Moving on to NXT Heat Wave. Ethan Page is the new NXT champion. Ethan Page pinned Javon Evans in a fatal four-way match that took place in the main event of the show. The finish of the match had champion Trick Williams strike Javon Evans with a trick shot, then followed it up with another trick shot to Ethan Page, who fell on top of Evans. Sean Spears dragged Williams out of the ring as the referee counted to three, giving Ethan Page the victory. This ends Trick Williams' run with the NXT Championship. He held it for 75 days, defeating Ilya Dragunov for the title on the first night of NXT Spring Break-In on April 23rd. Also, WWE NXT fans might just be getting their chance to believe in Joe Hendry again very soon. At the end of Sunday's NXT Heatwave main event that saw Ethan Page leave Toronto as NXT champion, a quick clip of the TNA star's famous swivel and smile aired as the show closed. In mid-June, Joe Hendry was quickly eliminated from an NXT number one contenders battle royal by the other 24 men in the match. Afterwards, Joe Hendry was shown arguing with Shawn Michaels backstage as he was leaving, claiming it was himself against NXT and that he can show up anywhere, anytime, on any show, and that all you gotta do is say his name. That was Joe Hendry's lone NXT match and appearance to date. On a media call this week, Shawn Michaels said that nothing would thrill him more than to have the opportunity to work with Joe Hendry in the future. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe to F4W Online for plenty more pro wrestling content.